Hi, I'm Noelle Mioy, and this is Design Bliss TV. So a little bit about me. I'm an artist, a designer, and the writer of the blog MyArticicBliss.com. Art and design are two things that I've always been passionate about, things that have always been a part of my life. So I wanted to share that with all you lovely people, so here we are. I'm creating Design Bliss as the visual representation of my blog. On this show, you'll find art and design tips, culture, and projects that hopefully will inspire you. Today, we are going to the Rose Bowl Flea Market in Pasadena, California to meet the local artists and find some pieces that I can transform into a refurbishing project. See you there. Welcome to the Rose Bowl. The Rose Bowl Flea Market is one of the largest outdoor marketplaces of its kind, with over 2,500 vendors and 20,000 visitors each month, and has been running in Pasadena for over 45 years. What I love most about the flea market is the talented and friendly artists that make it their home each second Sunday of the month to sell their collectibles, antiques, and various forms of unique and inspiring artwork. You know, you find something that kind of looks like a body, a square body. Uh -huh. They were kind of like my little buddies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was just kind of doing it in my backyard. And so I came to the Rose Bowl and um, I said, what the hell, I'll give it a shot. I put it on a blanket. People liked it. What is your inspiration behind like, like this, the syringe or like the keyboard? And stuff? You know, I just see certain things and I sit there and ponder, and then I make something out of it. Really, really no kind of rhyme or reason. <laughs> yeah, self-taught, and I have a, a friend who's taught me a lot of stuff too. I find things that are not in working order, and then I repurpose them so that you can actually have use for them again. Those are cool bags, I believe. Made from recycled fire hoses. What? Okay, now I have to see. That's not nice. I'm doing it about two years, and I started uh, in Germany, and we moved here four months ago. Oh, cool. And I brought everything with me, and thought I'd try to sell it here, too. And so these are really all made out of hoses? Yeah, they're all hoses. How, and so you, like, dye them? Sizes. How does that work? We, we, we cut them open and clean them, and then we... Um, Put a print on with uh, heat press. Need uh, special sewing machines, and and we're not able to do all shapes because it's not you can't bend it properly because it's so stiff. Because it was so unusual, we tried out different other uh, fabrics like sail and truck tarp and seat belts, and we ended up with the hoses. There, that other prints from the hoses. Okay, so all these numbers that was actually. Yeah. That's a great yeah. way to reuse something that no one would think to turn a fire hose into a, a great bag. That's awesome. With recycled materials, you're helping the environment by reusing something that already existed with one purpose and repurposing it for something completely different, like how she did with those awesome bags that are made out of fire hoses. The robots we repurpose like um, lunch pails and turn them into little robotic people and stuff so it's really cool to you know use old objects and make something new out of them Driftwood. so we had a great day here at the Rose Bowl flea market I found some great things I got these cool prints, which I'm going to frame, and this creep box, which I'm not sure what I'm going to do with yet, but hopefully figure out something cool. So I'll see you back at the studio. I want to thank all the artists I met today at the Rose Bowl Flea Market and send a special shout out to Lisa Raphael of Raphael Creations, who does original and custom made lamps um, out of vintage pieces. It's really cool, out of blenders and typewriters, very cool stuff, you should check her out. And then also to Aaron Cole of Intriguing Metal Things, who makes these really cute, I don't know if he wants me to use the word cute, but cute little robots out of metal objects. It's very cool, you should check him out as well. And lastly, of Sabine Vester of Alpaco, Alpaco bags. 
she makes uh, bags out of fire hoses. So I think that's pretty cool that she uses something so unexpected to create something beautiful and that you can, you know, use. Which brings me to the question of the day. The question is, what is the most unexpected material you've seen someone use in repurposed art? Leave a comment below. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. And of course, at myartisticbliss.com. And subscribe to Design Bliss TV. Also, if you have any suggestions for what I can do with these objects I found, leave it in the comments. Thank you for watching Design Bliss TV. And stay tuned for the next episode and see what I did with what I found.